But today, in many respects, given the changing economy, a college degree is the equivalent of what a high school degree was 40 years ago. That means to me that what we have to do is make a simple statement, and that is that we will make public colleges and universities tuition free. Now, how are you going to pay for that? During my campaign for the presidency, I proposed a tax on Wall Street speculation, which would have more than covered the cost of making public colleges and universities. Wall Street speculation, and he's using old 1930s socialist language, Wall Street speculation, in other words, 401ks, SEP, you know, people putting their money in SEP IRAs that, that invest in stocks and bonds. And this is just, it's, it's utter nonsense. It's utter nonsense. And, and when he says things like, you know, he's going to make tuition free and, and college is what high school used to be. Why do you think college is what high school used to be? Why do you think that is? It's because of a watered down public education system and people insisting that everybody have a college degree in order to go to work in a particular industry, even if you're majoring in poli sci, English, or lesbian dance theory. That's why you're seeing a watering down of college. The solution to that is to have employers start to recognize qualities in employees after high school and to make our high school curricula better and to make our high schools better, to make our general public schools better, not to shove more people into an overburdened education, a, a higher education system where people learn stupid crap. You know, I, I, I understand that you're desperate to learn about art history, but there aren't a lot of art history jobs out there. It's not a major that tends to generate, a, like, name the art historians or working art historians. Not people of an art history major who got a job in something else. The working art historians. What are they, like 10? Okay, but he's, but he's saying everybody has to go to college. And who will pay for it? Of course, the rich people. Of course, the rich They will always pay the rich people because they are an endless grab bag of loot. Except for the fact that the reason that a lot of the rich people are rich is because they're the ones who are hiring a lot of the other people. The reason you hire people, it, it, it's, it's amazing how few people understand like really, truly basic economics. The reason you hire somebody is because they create surplus value for you. If they don't create surplus value for you, you don't hire them. If you can fix your toilet the best yourself in the quickest amount of time, then guess what? You're going to fix your own toilet. You hire a plumber because he frees you up to do other things, creating surplus value for you. Well, rich people who hire lots of people have more surplus value. That's why they're hiring people. They hire lots of people, and those people create, in aggregate, more surplus value. If you get rid of the surplus value, are they going to maintain the employment, or are they going to fire people, you stupid dumbass?